watching the most action-packed wrestling show on YouTube today. Welcome to Max Wrestling. I'm Drew Compton alongside Jerry the Mac Riggins, and we have another incredible program to bring to you tonight. That's right, Drew. We have a new general manager, and he made some big waves last week when he lined up tonight's match for the Nacho Cluster Championship between champion Rockfuck Ian Corley and the Salvadorian legend Moss Haas. That runner-up prize of a belt looks worse than my last colonoscopy, but the match to win it has to be one hell of a fight. You're absolutely right, Matt. Both of these competitors are high-performance athletes. I'm sure we can expect no less than a high-octane performance from both of these men. We're also expecting to hear from the punker from Portland, Dingus Yeltsin, who, word has it, will be challenging the destructive force known as Crude Whoa. for the most important title ever championship right here tonight. Samuel took the pin, and Dingus Yeltsin took the win. Death and Carter did all he could to get one over on old Dingus, but all that teleporting bullshit didn't do jack shit for him as he submitted to old bondage and lost his only shot at the mic strap. I would bet my bottom dollar to say that Dingus is making his way to the spot arena right now to do just that drill. Well, here comes Jeremiah T. Binford, and he's looking none too pleased tonight. Perhaps that has something to do with his former protege gearing up to challenge his current one, Mac. Yeah, he definitely doesn't look very happy, Drew. Well, he's got a microphone in hand, and I'm sure he's going to vent his frustrations out in front of everybody at the spot arena. What do you think he's got to say here tonight, Mac? A lot of shit about himself and about his protege, Crude. Stuff that we already know. Well, I we guess that's like that then. Dingus Yeltsin, the shitbag cokehead, will be challenging my protege, the destructive force known as Crude, for the Might Championship. Let me tell y'all something. Looks like Dingus Yeltsin is making his way. Let's pick the devil. Oh, let's pick the devil again. Well, let Dingus Yeltsin take it a little back. Who wouldn't be if somebody could tell him? Oh! Hard hit by Samuel backstage. I don't even know what's going on in, in front of me on the ring anymore. Samuel taking it to Dingus Yeltsin at this point backstage. Dingus is unresponsive. He's too damn high. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised at all. He's wandering around in the back alley. I don't know if he was making his way out here to challenge Crude for my championship or if he was just lost in his own high. Oh! Speaking of lost, Jeremiah's still blabbermouthing out there with no regard to what's going on backstage. Well, he certainly is a self-absorbed individual. However, Dingus Yeltsin getting beaten down by Samuel backstage. What, why, what do you think is going on, going on with this? There's a lot of hatred between these two individuals, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some broken necks tonight. Ooh. Oh, a big swing by Samuel in the back. Dingus Yeltsin reeling on the floor. Of what, what, what the, the fuck's going on? This goddamn flippy flopping transportation teleportation crap. Well, Samuel's making his way to the ring now, approaching Jeremiah T. Binford. One has to wonder what he has on his mind and what he's got to say after beating down Dingus Yeltsin and making his way out here. Then Jeremiah just pissed himself. Who can blame him? Thou shalt arrange a contest to take place this night, so that I may take mine prize and my right, or thou shalt be taken to the hereafter post haste. Whoa. Need a thief for the instruction? Pretty heavy threat. Sammy, I ain't certain. I knew it's not Sammy. I'm mm. called Samuel, horseman of the apocalypse. He doesn't like that. Of souls to the gates of eternal judgment. Time. Okay, okay. Sure, don't want to piss off Pick that up man. Your match. We don't need to get into all this hereafter hoopla. I'll go get Lil John to sign off on it, and it'll be Samuel squaring off against Crow for the Mike Championship tonight. Dale. Yes. See that Whoa. thou doth make it happen. <laughs> giant point. Giant match lined up right here, right now. Samuel seemingly taking Dingus Yeltsin's spot against Crude for the Mike Championship. And we're getting that right here tonight, Mac. Oh, this has got me more excited than yeah, Roger O'Brien's corner when you need Oh, we're backstage now. It looks like uh, up, so Grandpa Dick is wandering place. around oh, lost. Hello, Easter uh, Bunny. What? Tough handicap, handicap, giving a seat. Grandpa Dick, Grandpa Dick on the floor, reeling. Tough Hannigan coming back way earlier than expected. We didn't expect to see him here for another couple of weeks, Mac. What's going on? Just destroying him for distracting him during yeah. that the Mike tournament. He's getting his revenge on us tonight, Joe. Well, that's certainly right. Taking a chair to his back, running into the locker room, taking the clothes to that, uh, Easter Bunny. Grandpa Dick. Why are you hitting me? Tough Hannigan seems to be suffering a little bit of the effects from that con concussion. Look at the tidy so whitey. He's got a big shit stain on the back there. Whitey's is a little bit of a broad term for what's going on with those underpants. Meanwhile, Tough Hannigan. Oh. oh, 
Hard throw into the locker by Japanian to Grandpa Dick. He's taking uh, it to the senior citizen here. He certainly him. is. One would think that uh -huh. abuse of senior citizens is frowned upon. He in deserves modern society. it. He certainly Very does. Wow. Just After that crappy pull against Tavanigan, he deserves every oh, beating he's taking right now. Come on, Tuff, take that to him. Tuff, take it. that to him. Shut down the catering. Tuff Hannigan is bringing the knuckle sandwiches tonight. Taking the chair and flapjacking him out across the back. What's he got in store for him here? Toss him oh. to the other side of the locker room. Right into that wooden threshold of that, whatever that is. I believe that's a locker, but Tuff Hannigan really taking it to Grandpa Dick, whatever it may be. Grandpa Dick now laid out on the floor. So is our, where is Ralph at to break this up? This is an unsanctioned, uh, not a wrestling match. Oh, there. You Tuff, know where Ralph's at. You know damn well where Ralph's at. He's at the concession stand getting me my goddamn nachos. What? I don't even think I can eat him to look at this. Look at this shit. Look at that. Grandpa Dick's underpants. Okay. I lost my appetite. Tuff Hannigan making his appearance known, making his presence felt, beating down Grandpa Dick, very likely in revenge for his, uh, his involvement. In his failure to win at the uh, second round of the ma most important title ever championship tournament. That is a lot of words. That's a mouthful. It certainly is. God damn. Meanwhile, we're gearing up to get... Um... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Speaking of a mouthful, here comes good old Roger O'Brien. The yes. patient sensation. No, I really wish he would do something about... He, he, it's just swinging everywhere as he walks down the ramp. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that strut. Okay, I, oh. He gives zero fucks, Drew. He, he, I'm certain he gives all the fucks, and it's over. Here it goes. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh, suck it up, Drew. <laughs> suck it up. Why does he get a mic? Mm. Yeah. Why not? Ultra Joe? Mouse can't score a victory. It's because he tries so hard to be a clean boy. But Roger O'Brien is here to let you watch him tug out a win. And it's because he plays dirty. Mm. Are you knows. not listening to this? So you can learn Ooh. how to count. You know, it's entertainment. Victory. This is sports yeah. entertainment. There's nothing entertaining. This is the most cringy thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. And here comes the entertainment for the night right here. Mr. Lucky Charms. Yeah, entertainment is a loose word you can use for this jackass. Making his way into the ring right now. Ugh. Mr. Steampunk O'Malley. I guess, meanwhile, the patient sensation over there. Just... He's getting a rough intro here in the Max Wrestling's main roster, though. Oh, well, he certainly is. He's got his work cut out for him, as we saw at the last house show. He took away a win. Hopefully, he can pull one off over <laughs> the Bayesian sensation tonight. I can't believe I just said that. This capacity crowd seems very indifferent to this match, Drew. They certainly aren't having any energy. I'm sure the win was complete, taken completely out of them by... Oh! oh! Hard throws by the Bayesian sensation. The Bayesian sensation throwing a hard kick to Lucky, Lucky Booth, who was on, prone on the floor. Oh, well, he's got himself a handful geez. of lucky booth right there. Well, he did talk about make, doing, um, using dirty tactics to get the win. I guess he's trying to send a little bit of a message to Ultramass here tonight. Goes for the pin and hook of the leg. Oh, Only a two, two count. Well, this is the uh, basic sensation. is trying to set an example for Ultramass, uh, saying that Ultramass is using uh, is trying to be too clean. Perhaps trying to show him how he do how he does it. He's showing him every little dirty trick in the book right here, but Lucky's taking advantage right now at this point. Absolutely right. Uh, being to no avail, Lucky uh, Lucky is actually making a, quite a bit of a comeback here tonight, here in this match. Back flipping headlock slam to the basic sensation from Lucky. Lucky's showing a little bit of an offense now, starting to take over the flow of this match. Has I gotta give it to him. He's, he's taking full advantage of this. And he doesn't seem very uh, disturbed by the naked Roger O'Brien in the ring. Well, good on him for not being distracted too much. He takes a hard kick. Uh -huh. Oh! Clubbing blow by Lucky coming down from the middle ra from the middle ropes. And preens to the crowd a little bit. He should be taking this time to take advantage. Exactly. Oh, ugh. Oh, hard knee right to the crotch. Oh, he's on another one. Certainly making him pay for having his junk exposed out in the middle out in front of everybody. Hard leg, uh, leg trip by Lucky. He missed that one, though. Missed that kick, though. Completely whiffs it. What, what's he setting up for here? Oh, hard forward face plant by the Bayesian sensation. Roger O'Brien onto Lucky Booth. Lucky Booth getting dragged out of the corner. He's got a mouthful of hepatitis right there on that one. 
You're absolutely right. Meanwhile, oh, oh, Jesus uh, Christ! What is this? He's balls deep. It, it, it certainly seems that's what it seems that he wants to call this move is balls deep. He's, oh, he certainly is. That's sick. I can only imagine the stench coming out from that area right now. Oh, ugh, I imagine it's got to be somewhere between cottage cheese and ashtrays. Some schmegma. That's disgusting. But, I mean, Lucky Booth, to his credit, showing quite a bit of gumption, not tapping out, not giving up this fight, just due to a little bit of, what'd you call it, schmegma? Schmegma, you know. Bronze oh. brain has got these psychological advances. Two advantages counts. with this uh, naked body flopping all over the ring and really gets into your head and maybe into your mouth. The two count... Two count pin- oh, God. Well, he certainly did get into the mouth of Lucky Booth on that move, uh, shoving his foot down his mouth to follow up. Maybe to wash out some of that cocktail. Some of that cocktail. Oh, here we go. Oh, heave ho slam. Heave ho slam by the basic sensation onto the Lucky Booth. This could be it for him. Drags him away from the ropes. What's he going to do he here? Might see a pinfall right here. Oh, nope. oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Once again, the ball's deep. Okay, this is the point where I would probably tap. This is I would have submitted had- already. It's over. It's over. There, there we go. There's no win that's worth having having that put in your face and probably down your throat. Disgusting win by Roger O'Brien. And we're going to see it again. Oh, Billy. Do we- Check it out, Drew. Look at that. He's taking the hands-on approach to showing you about the dirty tactics. Yeah, he certainly is. In the- oh. And there you go. Why are we replaying Full frontal. This? There, there's no need to replay All up this. In ya. Fucking Christ. Lucky Booth, welcome to Max Wrestling. Welcome indeed. Having no luck tonight, apparently Roger O'Brien finding the lucky charms, cashing him in, scoring a win. Fucking get him off the stage, please. No pot of gold for lucky charms. Just oh. a big pot of balls. Alright, and there he goes, helicoptering in the middle of the ring. What is this, the Ultra Mass Dance? No, this seems to be something much worse. I, I, I'd give anything to see in an Ultra Mass dance as opposed to... He's got a rhythm, Joe. He definitely knows how to play the ladies. Look at that rhythm. Oh. Here it goes. Oh, oh, there, oh, there he you is. go. He's a wreck. He's a wreck. That's Roger O'Brien. Oh, oh, God. Flip-flops and all. First time I've eaten long. Oh, oh, oh what's going on? Oh, Here there's going to be more. Something happening in the back. Oh. Hard clubbing meningitis. With What's he doing here? Fire extinguisher you're taking the head of meningitis by Tough Hannigan. Tough Hannigan running rough, rough shot in the oh, back. The fucking cooler. On all these people that have done him wrong, oh, apparently. He's out of control. What's going on? He certainly is. He tosses meningitis out into the alley where he uh, where he jumped him initially. Look this motherfucker. It looks like Tough Hannigan is tossing a pan at him. <laughs> What's going on back there? Well, I don't know, but the, the audience seems to be loving it. They're Tough Hannigan, they're checking out. oh, hard oh, kick God. by Tough Hannigan on to Meningitis. Meningitis reeling on the floor after that Ooh. blow. This is oh. that same spot where he got destroyed a few weeks back. Well, it certainly seems like a Tough Hannigan trying to make every hit count, trying to make this to or send this message straight the hell home to the people that wronged him in the past. Meanwhile, we're about this to get our... going crazy. Well, we're going to give you more updates as we find something else out. Uh, Tough Hannigan making his return again. Meanwhile, we've got another match lined up for you. This is the match that we were talking about for the Knuckle Desert Championship, as issued by new GM, Spooky Number 7. Spooky Number 7 came in last week, and he made waves when he announced that he was going to elevate La Raza. And here's step number one, Mas Haas, the Salvadorian legend. Oh, he's probably making his way out to the ring right now. I'm still... I'm still flabbergasted by tough hand by the balls yeah it's kind of, oh God, don't remind me about that I have them sitting right in front of me and I don't want to think about them I don't but, know how Masas is going to follow up that match that was one hell of a match <laughs> oh, that, that, I'm certain it was hell for Lucky uh, Lucky Booth that's for certain well maybe we'll get lucky and he'll retire uh, yeah hopefully we'll get lucky and Basic Sensation will retire at some point soon you know I checked the Nielsen sound scan and it seems like our ratings go up every time Roger O'Brien's on the screen. Believe it or not. Well, uh, I guess you can't argue with numbers. But with that, we've got Rob fucking Corley, the Knuckle Duster champion, making his way out to the ring. Speaking of numbers, he's the number one loser on the roster. The Knuckle Buster champion. Well, he certainly, I guess, is worst best. However, he does have gold to show off for it. He's, uh, he's got it around his waist this time. As you know, not applying the... Uh, the we're try- not trying to avoid the dick tactic. The dick tactic. There it is. Sorry about that. Avoiding the dick tactic, actually wearing it as, uh, as you know, tradition dictates when you're going to be defending the title, you must bring it to you or bring it with you to the ring. Well, I think after what we just seen backstage, Tough Hannigan taking it to Grandpa Dick, 
We're not gonna see any fast being stolen tonight. Yo, that's 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 the thing that's got me flabbergasted. Is Tough Hannigan making his uh making his return tonight again? Not expecting to see him for another couple weeks, Mac. He was supposed to be out, but he's definitely back. He's, he's pissed off. I've never seen him that angry before. Well, minus all the bandages, he certainly seems to be in full force. However, Rob fucking Coley seems to be full of confidence here going into this match. Seems a little upset. I don't think he even wanted to be here tonight. Well, he probably didn't. He was forced into this match by EGM Spooky Number 7. I'm certain he doesn't approve of having to be forced to defend his title without any kind of notice, without any sort of gravitas. However, here we are having this match here tonight. Well, I think the max crowd appreciates Spooky Number 7. Put this match together. This is something that we all wanted to see. Moss Haas getting his title shot at the Knuckle Buster Championship strap. The bell is being presented to both competitors. <laughs> Referee Nick Falter raising the Knuckle Buster Championship high above his head. Doesn't look like much, but Nick Falter is one tough SLP. Oh, you got that right. He could very well be in contention for the belt on his own. Oh, oh, Moss Haas, straight Ruff. after Moss Haas. Absolutely right. Charges right out the gate. Right at Moss Haas. Taking him down with a hard clubbing blow and more kicks to the back of Moss Haas. Flips him over and drags him out into the middle of the mat. Rotfuck really seems to have Moss's number. He He's just taking it to him. He certainly is. Moss Haas getting no offense whatsoever thus far in this match. However, it is early in the, it is early in the match. Oh, God, went so fast. Amazing power displayed here by Rotfuck Inc. What? Wait, he's he in his passing game. He goes digging in for he's that. Nick, Nick, Nick Fulton. Oh! oh! Clubs him with those knuckle dusters. Good God! Put out... Moss Haas went about five feet off the ground on that one. He certainly did. Moss Haas is Lifeless. clean. Goes for the one, pin. Two. Three. three. It's oh. over. All of it took was one hit by those... What are they called? Bastards? I'm too flabbergasted to know what's going on here or to even speak. Moss Haas screwed again. Absolutely right. Rock Bucky and Coley having his hand raised high at the end of this match, walking away defending successfully his Knuckle Duster Championship. Oh. Well, you heard Bayesian Sensation say it. You gotta fight dirty. You see that, kiddies? Another international star put away by the best that's ever been coded. That's Gary69 or whatever says this piece of crap deserves this shot. But the only thing he deserves is the only thing he got, and that is a bona fide ass whooping. Can't argue that. Hope you enjoyed it, Jess, because that was your last chance at my knuckle duster belt. No mass for mass Jess. Now, there's bigger matters afoot. As I stand before you, Nimrods, I am on the precipice, the very verge of the brink of seeing my filthy vision come to fruition. I can see my empire now, rising just beyond the horizon. Filthy visions for night. Wait a minute. Tom Hannigan making his way out to the ring in the middle of Rockbuck's sub. Rockbuck's speech there. What the hell is he going on? He's, he's making a beeline to the ring right now. Cut Rockbuck right off the, the microphone right there. And I don't know. Are we going to see something here? He has some type of beef with Ian Corley. Oh, time will only tell. He's been, like you said, he's been going on a rampage backstage. And we've seen him take out not only Manny Giants, but also, but also Grandpa Dick. I'm sorry. Well, he's got a mic. That's what he has to say. Hey, motherfucker. Tell Van I can feel happy for you. And he's going to let you finish. But Tavannik is looking for the biggest gun of all time, Beth and Trey Norton. Wow. Tuff did some huh. fucking thinking when he was laid up, and it seems that Tavannik and that skin trade must have sent his goons after him to get him nice and softened up before he came at Tavannik and himself. Tavannik took them shit heads out, and now he's ready to kick the piss out of their little wing leader. And he's ready to do it right fucking now. That's right, Tuff, you tell him. Skin trade. If you're sorry he has, has any fucking balls whatsoever, you'll march the fuck out of here and take the beat that you fucking earn. Oh! Shit! Hard clubbing blow by Rothfuck! He's heard enough out of Tough Hannigan! He wanted none of that. He just took it right to him. Here it goes. He is not having any... He... I guess... Oh, again. Oh. Another vicious clothesline. Clobbered him with that clothesline. I guess you don't want to interrupt Rothfuck and Corley in the middle of a promo. What's this? Oh! oh. oh. Clubbers him one more time, clubbing and cl clothesline, takes Hannigan down to the mat. Hannigan struggling to get back up, still feeling the effects of that concussion. Probably going to be none the worse for wear after this beating. Oh, oh side God. slam right to the ribs of Tough Hannigan. Those ribs haven't even fully healed from the last attack. Hey, he's still got bandages covering him up. Yeah. And Ruffman's tossing Tough oh, Hannigan right out to of the floor. ring, landing right on that bad arm that he just that he injured 
just a few weeks ago. Just before he was taken out by the bat baseball bat. Tough hand again, worse for the wear. Oh my god, he's just destroying him outside that ring. Rough like Ian Crowley taking no measure of mercy on Tough Hannigan, cranking away at his neck. That's not that's not gonna be good for his health, Mac. I understand he's pissed off, but he should have took some more time to recover because he came back too early, Drew. He certainly did. He probably hasn't healed up quite all the way. He's still got the bandages wrapped around his head, his ribs, and his arm. Oh, oh another, another slam. Slams him straight onto the steel outside of the ring. Taunting Tough Hannigan on the floor. What's going on next? What's going up there? He's going back in the ring. What? Did you see that the entitled hell? shit box? He interrupted me in the middle of the promo of the millennia. And for what? To try and get a piece of the leader of the Empire of Filth? Well, guess what, Clyde? I hope you can process this through your thick, concussed, undersized cranium. You just got a piece of the leader of the Empire of Filth. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, that's right! This you robbed me of my chance at the most important title ever, so I had my boys rob you of yours Wednesday right Robert back! Time, and time, and time again! And as the Empire goes on to capture all the gold, and guide next wrestling to a future of filthy euphoria, you will be lying catatonic in a hospital bed, fast tracked to join your daddy's side, destined to be remembered in history as the first idiot that dared to try and defy the Empire. Certainly strong words by Rob fucking Crowley talking about his empire of filth. He's a leader? Uh, apparently so. He's the one that's been uh, sending all these people to attack, distract, and otherwise ruin Tuff's uh, chances at the Mike Championship. So all these superstars have been following this shit stain. Apparently so. Uh, call the shit stain as you like. He's certainly manipulated all these people into doing his whims for him, doing all these attacks for him. It's, it's a cowardly act. I, I can't condone this. Uh, he's not doing what this. Through. This is not good. Rafa King Crowley now. Oh, oh my God! Clubbing Tough Hannigan with that sledgehammer. First it was a baseball bat by Patrick Skin Trade Martin, but now it's just. Oh my! I can't even look at this. These are some filthy tactics being employed by these filthy sons of bitches. Oh! Clubs him in the back again. Oh. Tough Hannigan trying to try to make his way up. Rafa King Crowley putting him right back on the floor with that sledgehammer. Vicious assault here. Goddamn oh. coward! One more time. Beating a man when this he's already he's down. Be, and he's he's walking away. He's leaving Tough B as it is. Jesus Christ, merciless beating. Somebody get a stretch out here, Tough's not getting up. Yeah, this is the second time we've had to do this. we got the ambulance sitting there on his way, uh, getting ready to load up Tough Hannigan, I hope. Do we have any EMTs whatsoever, or is uh, Ralph buying up nachos or something? I don't know, I'm not seeing any movement down there. Let me get on the float. Well, while they take care of that, we want to tell you about some of our sponsors. Captain... Number disconnected. Number disconnected. Unfortunate shit. So what are you saying about cat milk? Well, it's one of our newest sponsors. Cat milk, the other dairy. Be sure to get go out and get yourself a litter right meow. Also, Escorts Plus. Why Plus? Because skinny pods are overrated. I'm sorry, Drew. I just, I just can't. I can't pull it together right now. Well, we're getting ready to uh, move forward with the main event of tonight's evening. Samuel taking on Crew for the most important title ever championship. This is a match I've been waiting to see for a long time. And as excited as I am, I'm a little frustrated with this whole situation. Just tough out again. We've never seen him beat down like this. We certainly haven't. Um, folks, we'll give you updates as they come in on Tough Hannigan's condition. We will Samuel making his way out to the ring right now to fight Crew. Check out that ring rust. Back in the motion here. Through it. It's, it's all right. We got, it's all right. We got this. We're professionals, Joe. We're professionals. We use that word loosely around here in Max Wrestling. But... Oh. Okay. Right, right back into the action, folks. Sam Ail now in ring. Getting ready to battle for the most important title ever. We saw him um, take out Dingus Johnson earlier on tonight. Um, Eventually just took a spot over for the match. He certainly did. He teleported in, jumped in his Elton backstage, then teleported yet again out to the ring to confront Jeremiah T. Binford and get this match lined up tonight. Death Incarnate, a.k.a. Samuel. Don't call me Sammy. Certainly don't want to call him Sammy to his face. 
Oh, and here he comes, the destructive force known as Crude. That's a scary man. He certainly is. Being joined by Jeremiah T. Binford for this match. Binford feeling that this is an important match to be joining him with, making his way out to the ring with him tonight. I'd like to call out the only insurance policy right there. You bring your manager out to the ring. Well, it certainly could be. Um, should any shenanigans come forward by... Uh, should Sammy L try to pull any sort of shenanigans, I'm certain Jeremiah T. Binford will be there to um, curb them as best he can. <laughs> Looks like crew got himself a new towel. About time anyone smelled it all hell. Well, I could only smell it from about 15, 20 yards away, but... Uh, it certainly seems a little bit fresher. I think I'm getting a, uh, a whiff of breeze. Lavender. Lavender. Death. I'm not certain that the death smell is coming from Crude's towel or Death Incarnate, Samuel. Could be one, could be the other. Very true, very true. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> He's mocking Samuel. He certainly He's is. Like Samuel for Crude. Showing a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a personality, maybe even a sense of humor here tonight. He's not laughing, but he's definitely laughing inside. He certainly is, but that certainly isn't, but that Mike Championship looks great on him. And how? Oh! Uh, whoa! whoa! This is something we haven't seen before. Usually Crude will come running out as he did tonight, but Samuel shut that down with a quickness. Uh. Good yeah, Crude's usually the one doing that, and it's, it's totally reversed it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Samuel taking charge of this match in the early goings. Oh, spoke too <sighs> soon, though. Crude trying to regain control with that shoulder flip onto Samuel. Samuel now oh, ooh, hard elbow. position with a hard elbow to the back of the head. Oh, another, another one. one. Crude trying, trying to take advantage back. Oh, nope. Nope. Samuel kicking, getting out of that hold. Oh, oh running bulldog. Running bulldog by Samuel onto Crude. Taking over this match. This is something we have yet to see. He's manhandling him. Certainly is. Power slam in the middle of the mat. Good God. Samuel brought his A game tonight, Drew. Certainly did. He certainly studied all the tapes. Meat oh. hook back slam by Samuel. Devastating. On to Crude. We have yet to see anything like this happen to Crude in his time in Max Wrestling. Flip oh. Samuel over his back, trying to take the back. Misses. back. With Samuel ducking the kick. Oh, oh, right in the back of the shin. There you go. Crude doing anything he can to get control of this match. Dropping him on his knee. Both of these men are pulling out all the stops for that Mike Championship. Samuel rolling out and coming back. Oh, oh my vicious God. headbutt. Vicious you headbutt see by Samuel. Skull to skull contact. Crude getting pulled back up. Oh, nice shoulder, shoulder flip there. Another shoulder flip by Crude onto Samuel. Samuel now picked up. What's the guy in store for him here? Samuel wiggles out. Backward head plant by right Samuel on the Crude. Crude flattened in the middle of the map. We could see an upset victory here. Samuel could take the win from Crude. Crude whipped into the corner hard with authority. Samuel definitely the aggressor here tonight, Drew. He certainly is. Samuel motioning to Crude to stand up to take more punishment. Oh. Pushes him to the mat. Tosses him like a rag doll. I've never seen something like that before. You certainly have it, especially not on Crude. Another show of dominance shoves him to the corner. Sam AL, impressive showing so far tonight. I don't think oh. Crude understands what's going on here. This, this oh. is an important oh. match. Crude flipping oh. around, says no more to that. There you Shuts go. it down. Crude really needs to turn this around in a bad way, Mac. He's just telling him, come on, give it to me. And Crude now running oh, off the vicious. apron. Oh, no. Samuel, Samuel doing a little bit of a dance. Oh, right before he clobbers Crude. Sends Better watch out for Pinford. He's right there. Yep. Oh, oh, my God. That's, Samuel taking out Jeremiah T. Sammy. Oh, Crude now taking revenge on Samuel for knocking down Jeremiah T. Bifford. Throwing his head up against the floor. He's like, don't touch my daddy like that. You Only daddy can touch me. I certainly wouldn't do that. Oh, my God. Sorry, I still got Bation on the brain. Uh, yeah, he. Oh my god. <laughs> but, uh, Crude whipping Samuel back into the ring. Crude's starting to take control. Starting to take control of this match. I got go. fucked power up. Bomb. <laughs> One power oh. bomb. Two, Two power, power bomb, bomb by Crude. <laughs> the Three power bomb. The strength being displayed here by Crude is something that we're all too familiar with here in Max Wrestling. Goes for the pin on Samuel. I don't think it's going to be that easy. Oh, nope, not whoa, even a one. Not even a one count for Crude. Crude can't believe what's going on here. He usually is able to put his opponents away way quicker than this. Well, Samuel's not like your average opponent. 
Oh, it looks like he's trying to size him up for the Texas T-Bone suplex. Oh, oh no. Slips out again. That's Sam slippery Hill, motherfucker. Out one more time. Kicks him to the shin. Picks him up. Oh, Crude in a bad way here. Samuel doing a little display of strength of his own. Picks up Crude by the head. We might see an upset. Oh, has him up on his here shoulders. Here we go. What is he looking for final here? Final destination driver. Hits him with the final oh. destination driver. Final what destination driver on I, Crude. I can't believe Crude what's happening here. Crude goes for the pin. Two. It could be. Oh. No. So goddamn close. Couldn't get the pin. Samuel beside himself. What does he have to do to put away Crude? We almost had a new champion tonight. We're, wait. What's Diggy Selton doing here at ringside? D that D drug addict, look at him. D. Zelton walk, watching. What What the hell is going on here? He's here to get his revenge on Samuel for taking his spot. He, That's what it is. I can only imagine Samuel has the advantage of the match at this point. Oh, spoke too soon. No, wait, D. Zelton running oh, into the ring. Right across the face. What the hell is going on? Oh! D. Zelton. What's that all about? Back elbow to Crude. What the fuck is that? What is what? going on here? Oh, my God. Samuel beside Samuel doesn't know what's going on and either. And just walks out of the ring staring at him. He, he looks pretty pissed off. He looks he looks like he accomplished the mission here tonight, Matt. I'm pretty confused, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know why he wouldn't just club Samuel. He's going to club anybody, but there you go. On that note, we'd like to thank you for joining us tonight. Be sure to visit the description box and check out all the great people and bands that contribute to Max Wrestling. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notifier. Do wacky. Think I'm a popper, so you don't miss out on a single solitary episode. As always, I'm Drew Compton. And I'm Jerry the Mac Wiggins. And we'll see you next time for another Max Wrestling. Wrestling. Blah.